Okay, things are not looking good. He's got a very bloated belly. And so he's not doing well. So all those fluids, he was passing yesterday, but it seems like there might be something wrong with his system. And it's something that Richie, sorry, it's something the vet um, said might be because of his age. So I'm walking around waiting for a call back from the vet. Um, but we might be at end of days for poor Marco Polo. Yeah, old man, you don't like it. No, I know. You can see, you can see how bloated his belly is. Well, maybe there you can see from that side. Come on. So I've got a, I walked him out of the stables and kept walking and I'm walking them now. So We've had so many adventures together through life, Marco Polo and I. There's a couple of years where we worked in films and he made a wonderful contribution to the farm income. We were a driving pony. Um, he's done a lot of modeling for art students down in Callan, some of you will remember. Uh, we've done comp driving competitions. We won a driving dressage competition together. We went to pubs together, drive down to pubs and unharness him and he would come in and drink a pint with us, or rather he would have carrots and I'd have the pint. So we've had so many, we've, um, when he was younger, he was a really sturdy fella. And I could ride him. Oh dear, come on. No, no, come on, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, get up. No, 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 come on. Come on, get up, get up, come on. Come on, get up, come on. No, no, oops. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, get up, come on, get up. Come on, come on, come on, get up. No, no, come on. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, get up. Come on, get up, come on, come on, get up. Come on. Everybody's trying to get him up, including Inca. Come on. No, no. Come on. Come on. Get up. Ah, come on. Come on. Whoops. Come on. The horses are watching what's happening. Come on. Get up. Marco, I know you're in agony. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, poor man. So, I finally got him up. And we're gonna keep walking until the vet gets here. So, uh, walking now until the vet gets here. It doesn't look good. He's been such a good buddy. He's got me through some difficult times and he's been here the longest on the farm. So I'm just going to be walking him now. Hopefully the vet will get here in the next half hour. And uh, my normal vet isn't available. So I've had to go to another vet who are really, really expensive. But... Um, He's in just such agonies. So, got to do something for him. I hate animals being suffering. So, we're going to walk now until the this other vet comes. Ah. <sighs> It's just, God, it hits you in the gut because you want to do the right thing. But at the same time, you don't want the animal to suffer long. It's an awful thing to say, but a lot of the time 
it's so much easier when animals die on their own without you having to make that decision to um, put them down, put them to sleep. But sometimes that's the best option because when they're suffering, and he's not a young horse pony rather, he's, he's of a significant age. We've had so many adventures, like I was saying earlier, driving all over the countryside through farms and pubs, movie sets, driving competitions. I rode him bareback on the beach. So he's been down to the seaside. He's had such an amazing life from, for a pony who was uh, rescued from a kill pen, if you will. He escaped from a kill pen and a friend of mine found him on the roads and the kill pen employees were trying to catch him and he kept escaping. So my friend opened the gate to one of his fields and Marco Polo ran in and the kill pen people never came to pick him up. The video keeps stopping because I keep getting phone calls from vets saying when they're coming. So anyway, this is Marco Polo. And hopefully the vet can do something. But if the vet can't do anything, uh, I'll have to just say goodbye as it were. Anyway, he's a rescue pony. And when I got him, he had uh, wounds in his necks. You can slightly see them here. The leftover white scars of hairs around his neck on this side and then on this side you can see oh I don't want to stop walking anyway uh, he had been starved and a rope had been around his neck and um, had eaten into his neck so he was always scared afraid of men and boys in particular so he was uh, an abused pony and we think he might have been stolen because he's an he was an excellent driving pony he knew how to drive really really well and uh, I'll include some photographs of him that were taken over the years of him driving around the place he was, um, he had great adventures and he loved his life here and he was an excellent babysitter for foals when I was weaning foal, my horses foals, he would be the babysitter and he would keep ponies, I mean he would give manners to the foals. Sing, little blackbird, sing. Sing your song all day long. Sing, little blackbird, sing.